and uh, we tell them the truth. How many people here can tell the prospect the truth? Absolutely. How many people here have met a stupid prospect? Raise your hands high. <laughs> Raise them high. Come on. Is everyone here met? The now, okay. do, now, do we tell the truth and say you're a stupid prospect? No, you're not, let's, let's, <laughs> <laughs> not if you want to close the deal. No, no, no. That's, <laughs> that's, really, <laughs> you're, you're the only one that ever tells people, you know, hey, do you want me to tell you the truth or lie to you? Yes, go ahead. You know, when you have a prospect who's making an unbelievable mistake, buying or selling or investing in real estate or whatever it is, you know they're making a mistake. The amateur will go back to their same old scripted can presentation. They'll be redundant. I know because I used to do this stuff and it didn't work. The gut salesperson will say, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, hey, where are you? David, where'd you go? You disappeared? No, I'm here. Oh, there you are. Boom. David, role play with me. Hey, Mr. Skullnick. I, you know what? I can understand how you're feeling. You don't know me that well and everything, but you told me you've been living in that one bedroom apartment with your five cats for, for what? How many years? Um, long enough for them to start thinking about eating me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what would you, what would you, let me, you want me to, before I'm going to take off my salesman hat. Okay. And take a couple shots of vodka and a little sodium pentothal here. Do you want me to tell you the truth or make you feel good and get off the phone? No, the truth. The truth is, you should have bought a home years ago. I can help you that, based on the information you gave me. I'm going to ask you a few more questions. You ask me a few more. And let's find a way to get you out of that apartment. You're making your landlord rich. You have no tax benefits. You get no appreciation. You have no room for your family. Why don't you let me help you today get you into a home? If I can do it within your budget and in the next 30 to 60 days, can we do business today? Can we make a commitment? Or should I get off the phone and leave you alone? You can really do all that? Suppose, let's pretend for a moment I could. Good question. What would you say to me next? If you, if you, could, if you can follow through and do that, I, I would like to do business, yeah. I'm sorry, what? What did you say? I want, if, you could, if you can perform and do what you're saying, I'll do business with you. Okay. Anybody, other, anybody else in the decision-making process? Do you have to ask Tabby or any of the other cats? Or you can just make the decision <laughs> unilaterally. <laughs> As long as I'm putting cans of food food down, they're happy. Okay. And they, and they won't eat. And they won't eat me. Okay. <laughs> Boom. That's gut selling. Honest. Was that? Do I come across as honest and sincere? Sincerity. Another good word in the entrepreneur mindset. Very, very much. Absolutely. Good. Anybody else want to have the last word before we move on to open forum, and then we'll talk about marketing. The other thing. Uh, this Randy. The other thing I think about passion is it. Without it, you don't have discipline. Discipline to get up and make your calls, discipline to do your marketing or anything like that. I could have retired years ago. I will not retire until my last day on this planet. Why? Someone give me the answer. Why will I because, never retire? Because you love, love, what, you love what, you you do. what you do. I love what I do. I love doing this with uh, you guys. I love, I have a whole bunch of phone calls. I love talk, you know. I love talking to people during the day, solving problems. I love still doing my own real estate deals and everything. Why would you do something? Why would you stop doing something you love? I have so many friends who are older or retired, okay? They did jobs for 30, 40 years or more that they hated. Anybody here have a job they hated besides me? That's why they're retired. They're tired. <laughs> they can't wait to retire have a lower lifestyle, lower income, lower lifestyle, social security, small pension. Okay. And they call it the 40, 40, 40 plan. Work 40 hours a week for 40 years of your life to live off 40% of what you made when you actually work. I like that. Thank you for sharing that. That was, I never heard that one before. Can you use that in the next book? <laughs> <laughs> uh, absolutely. When you have that passion, and you're practical. It's got to be practical. Why are we in business? Make money today, right? Okay, if we want to change the world, we can join the um, Salvation Army or something like that, right? Bring that little peace, bell. The Peace Corps. Peace Corps. Peace Corps. <laughs> peace Corps. Good organization. Good organization. But if you do something you love and it's practical, meaning you, can, you, you get paid for it, 
Man, I think like, I think also it's not just about the money. Like it's, it, I mean, of course we're here to make money, but you know, I get clients to be like, "Wow, you know, thank you for helping me out of this situation." It really was, it it really was a a, a situation that really was you know bad for me, and you helped me. You provided a solution, and and it and it's you know something like that is priceless. You know, you can't. You can't take that away, and that make you that even make you want to get on the calls even more to like, man, who can else I can help? Who else I can, you know, help out of a situation? And and then you, and then when you when you have done that so many times, like you you start conveying some type of, um, um, they, you come across genuine over the phone. Yeah, yeah. See, so don't that that's the thing about it. When you look back, you know, when you when you're shaving in the mirror, whatever you do, and you say, "Hey, am I part of the solution or part of the problem in life? Am I making? The, am I leaving the world a better place?" And there's nothing to feel guilty about uh, being pro, uh, about prosperity either, because the more pro money. Uh, well, so one of my clients once said this to me. I, I thought it was the, one of the most profound things I ever heard. He said, "Claude, money makes a good man better and a bad man worse." Mm. I, I love that expression. And that's so powerful. Yeah, so this, I want to, we'll talk more about, this is a great topic, um, you know, uh, because that, that mindset, uh, 